Take a look, take a look over there, take a chance. Cause they're coming over here, coming up now. With a big loud bang, it's the kangaroo weekend. I can't see it, Christy. Just look, Wal. There's a face there. For sure. It's winking. And poking its tongue out. I believe the face is only an illusion formed by mountains and valleys. <laughs> <laughs> the wacko things you come up with, Wall, you crazy little tacker. You can see the moon down here, you know. Well, come on up, Emily. The view's great. You know I don't like heights. You come down here. You always want us to do things your way. I can't help it if my way is always best. Wow! What? What happened? A star crashed. That was incredible. we got to go find it. Now? You can't go now. It's too dark. You'll get lost. Emily does have a point. The best thing to do is go in the morning. Right, Wall? See? Wall agrees. You should listen to me more. We listen to you all the time. We've got no choice. <sighs> it's so tiring giving all this good advice. See you in the morning. Honestly. Emily's head's so big these days, it's a wonder her neck can hold it up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But what time will we look in the morning? Mm, I better tell them when. What shall we do about Emily? What can we do? That's the way she is. A big, bossy boots. Don't do this. Don't do that. That's too dangerous. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. So that's what they think of me? Right! If they don't want my help, they won't get it. I'll find the star by myself. Sure she's bossy, but you've got to love her, that crazy rubber neck. Emily wouldn't be Emily if she didn't try to get her own way. Emily will do what Emily does. That's for sure. I'll be back with the star before they're even awake. Oh, it must be here somewhere. Walking endless forever. Why can't I fly? Just for once, I'd have found the fallen star by now. Where is it? More important, where am I? Shiny light? What's a shiny light doing out here in the bush? The star! I found it! I found it! I found it! Mm, if I crashed from the sky, I wouldn't be in a good mood. I'd bite anyone who touched me. Oh, maybe I should get the rest of the gang. No! No, I've got to do this myself. I can do this. I can do this. I think I can do this. I did it! I found you! Star! Me! I'm a star! And you're a star! <sighs> As always, first one up and ready to go. Come on, sleepyhead. We've been ready for ages. Oh. So where's Emily then? Uh, where is Emily? Emily! 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 Not anymore, you don't. Where have you been? And what are you talking about? Prepare to gasp. Ta da! Oh, oh, a, a fallen, fallen star. star. Fallen star. You beauty, Emily. You found the fallen star. Congratulations. <laughs> you're just saying that because you're jealous. Why would we be jealous? I have to tell everyone else about my discovery. I know they won't be so jealous. Emily's really starting to annoy me. Starting? I'm already there. Shiny thing alert! I gotta tell Mom! And let me tell you this. I didn't just find it easily. I had to battle through bush thick with prickles and worms and bugs. Wow! Then, when I saw the star, I grabbed it quick before it bit me or flew away. Double wow! I believe the creek's a little crowded now that Emily's big head is taking up so much room. You're not pulling the paw there, Wall. And it's getting worse by the minute. They have a shiny sky thing, do they? Yep. Mange, that's rhetorical. 
Well, they won't have it for long because we're taking it. But what is it, Mog? Who cares? They think it's a big deal and that's a good enough reason to take it off them. Nothing is more wonderful than making them miserable. <sighs> it's like a sunbeam on a rainy day. Come on, boys. Let's make trouble. And another thing. Did I tell you about the rivers I had to cross? So many, I lost count. Huh. You see crocs? Did I see crocs? Eddie, I didn't swim across the rivers. The crocs were so thick on top, I just ran over them. Sharpie snap bite. I've had enough. And Princess Emily lived happily ever after. Fairy tale's over. You kids scoot home. Nice yarn, Emily. Not even I could spin one as good as that. You're so, so jealous. Why don't you grow up and accept I'm better than you? And I have a star to prove it. Someone's got to grow up. But it's not us. We really don't care about shiny things anymore. I know you care. I know you're jealous. Now, who else can I amaze with my <laughs> amazing bravery? I wonder if this star can give me superpowers. Excellent. The emu's alone. Time to turn on the nasty. Maybe it could help me fly. No! What do you want, flea balls? We want the shiny thing and we want it now. My star? Never! Let's look at the situation here, shall we? Three cats against one emu. Each cat with claws. <coughs> and there's no escape. Conclusion? The shiny thing is ours, whether you like it or not. Ha! Huh. There is an escape. So long, cats. Here's my dust. The emu's getting away. Relax. Not for long. <laughs> I see you found the cliff, bird brain. I told you there's no escape. You're so smart, Mog. Aren't I just? Now, let's have the shiny thing. That's a good emu. No way! Boys? All right, shiny star, unleash your power. <laughs> ah! Ah! What are you doing, you brainless bird? Wing flap to full speed. Emus can't fly. Take off! <laughs> I can fly! I can fly! Look at me! I can fly! Come here, bird. Bird move. Oh, <laughs> oh no! Mug and the bird fell down! This is seriously not good. Oh, this is worse than seriously not good. This is seriously bad. What are we going to do? We get out of here. <laughs> wait, wait <for> me. <laughs> Emily always wants us to do things her way, but this bragging Emily is the worst. I want the old Emily back. Don't we all? <laughs> we weren't anywhere near Mike or the cliff. Or the big bird. We know nothing. Nothing! What was that about? Well, they said something about a big bird, Mog, and a cliff. Big bird? Emily! I guess emus can't fly after all. Not even with star power. Meow! Mog? Save me, you fool! Ah, uh, I mean, you wonderful, fabulous... Oh! Help, Emily! Grab this, quick! Oh! There's no sign of Emily. So what were those cats yapping about? Ah, that's what! Get me out of here, you oh, stupid bird! Mom. Poor Emily! And I thought she hated heights. She's not up there for fun! Oh. <laughs> Save me! Save me! Uh, 
that mug? You can get off me now. Oh, <clears throat> get off you! <laughs> you were on me, you loony bird. <sighs> You're so lucky I rescued you. Excuse me, Furball. It looked to us like it was Emily who rescued you. A bird? Rescue a cat? <laughs> I scoff! <laughs> Mog, you know Emily rescued you. Yeah, we saw everything. This is so typical. First I get no thank you from ungrateful Riff Raff. Then I'm insulted with a fanciful story. Which you will never tell anyone, okay? Farewell, Riff Raff. Mog can fool herself with fibs, but we know you rescued her, Emily. What a hero. Yeah, a stunning display of bravery. Now that I think about it, it was brave, wasn't it? Or stupid. Maybe both? But I lost the star. You're in one piece, that's what matters. We'll find plenty of other shiny things. But there's only one Emily. Will you forgive me for all that bragging? Can we just forget it? It's already forgotten. Can't remember a thing? Let's go home. Hold it. What was it we got to forget? How can I forget it if I can't remember it to forget it? Kevin, just forget everything. Right, will do. <laughs> mm. Mm. So, where are we going? OK, don't forget everything, just forget most things. I can't forget lunch, though. Want to join me, Emily? You bet! And if you see any shiny things, just pretend they're not there. I promise. <laughs> <laughs>